Hi, and welcome back to Moving and Grooving. Today I'm out on the lake, and I have some news. I'm gonna sell this boat. Yeah, you know, I had a situation that came up, and now I have to sell it. And here's what I got for you. This boat I purchased back in November of 2022, and it's August 30th, 2023. The boat shows very well. It has a lot of features that you would not find at a dealer. Let me go over those with you. Up front, we have ourselves the Minkota Trova iPilot 80, and it has two batteries underneath the center rod locker. It has a Minkota two bank charger underneath this storage area. And it's the digital one. Good stuff. It's got the bolster so that if somebody wanted to sit up here, they could. That is an extra option as well as over here. The front trolling motor also has the quick disconnect plate. So if you ever were to be traveling and you wanted to take off the trolling motor, it just slides off and you can put it in the back of a pickup truck. That way you don't have to worry about it walking off when you're in the hotel. Or in this case, I put my lock on it. Yeah, you know, a lock can be a deterrent, but if somebody has the right tools, it's no longer a deterrent. Up here in the front, I have the nets that go along the uh, left and right side of the boat, put in jackets and various items. Now up in the front, you're gonna see a little ram mount that's gonna be connected to the US-2 on the Minn Kota. And that's pretty cool. And what that does is allows you to use a depth finder up front for structure. And in the back, I got a hummingbird with the side imaging down imaging. And I just have the traditional gauges from Alumacraft. Fuel, speed, volt, and tack. It does have tilt steering. So you're able to use this little bar down here and you're able to adjust the steering in just a push of a button. I went with the Infinity sound system. It has two upgraded sound speakers, so they're not gonna be the ones that sound tinny. It's gonna have a much more open, mid, treble, and bass, so it has a little bit more depth to the music. Up front here, you're gonna notice that you have a never been used live well storage. That right there is part of the cover. So if you wanted to enclose it without the trolling motor on it, you could. And then you just got your little digital guy right there for the trolling motor. Now this is called a Alumacraft 185 Competitor FSX. And what that means is it's a fish and ski model. A traditional competitor would not have the seats back here. And that gives you more versatility if you have younger kids or you just want to get from spot to spot. In my case, I have the additional seat right here and in my garage. So you have a total capacity of being able to place six people. And if you wanted to, right down there on the information tab, it does say six people are the maximum load that you can have on this boat. Now, with my seat, I went with the captain's chair. Now, the captain's chair has the word Alumacraft embroidered on it, just like the other. It's a matching seat. It has the ability to recline the seat back. So if you want a little bit more comfort on the uh, water, you got it. Armrests. So if you're a bigger guy like me, I usually use the armrests up so I have a little bit larger uh, seat back. Very comfortable seat. That seat alone with the air ride suspension is around $1,250. That seat and that seat all have air ride. Cup holder, cup holder. Underneath this seat, you got yourself the live well. And the live well continues in this little compartment right here. Nice, big and deep to get to all your fish. As well as down here, your battery. Powered by the 150 BF Honda. This is one of my most favorite engines. 
It is super fuel efficient. This is my second tank that I put through the boat. Now, the gas that I use has no ethanol. I've been lucky enough to find it where you don't have to run the high octane fuel, but you're able to use 87, where it does not have the ethanol inside the fuel. So you're gonna get a very clean engine run. No ethanol in this boat at all. Down here, you're gonna have a little bit of storage. Never been used cooler. And I do keep this boat looking pretty clean, so I keep a bottle of Zep. Uh, the windshield wiper cleaner fluid or windshield fluid or glass cleaner, whatever you want to call it. I think it's up. Does a good job. Yes, it is. And this boat also has a hidden feature. Has two rod holders. So if you're running from place to place, you don't have to slide them down into the center console uh, area here. Uh, the center rod locker you can just keep them out now what else do i have to tell you about this boat it does have rod storage and you guessed it you got the ski pole ski pole is about a 500 hundred dollar option it will plug right into here then this is a seat mount as well so you can spread your fisherman out so you're not catching lines you got the famous sea star Hydraulic steering, the hydraulic fill is right up here. Don't think that that's a charging port because it will not act like a charging port. You'll have a mess on your hands. The Honda, you got yourself this little troll feature. Every time you hear the, bit, the little beep, you're gonna go up into RPMs and you're gonna go back down in RPMs. Wow, what else can I tell you about this boat? Now, I only have about 50 hours on it. And I've gotten two full tanks of gas through it. And it just had its maintenance done about uh, a month ago. And the Shorelander trailer has the armor coat or the bedliner type finish. I probably said both of those wrong, but they have kind of this really hard coat textured paint that is going to allow you to get the very best wear out of your trailer it has four bunks two load guides spare tire that's going to have an alloy as well as alloy wheels and the best part about it, it does have the swing tongue that if you need to get it out and bend the tongue back so you have it to park in your garage you can the outside of the boat you can already kind of see it has the silver accent and just on the other side you got the black paint now i know that there's a lot of promotional videos out there about lumacraft why they say that they have one of the nicest rides out on the market i would have to agree this boat does come with the 2xb hull it is a full 2xb hull giving you a much thicker metal underneath if you have a much thicker metal, it's not gonna flex as much. It's gonna have a better ride quality. And on the side of the boat, Alumacraft is known for their really large spray rails. And that's gonna be these little guys that are deflecting water at a slow speed. And that's gonna give you a really dry ride. Now this is a gullwing hull design. What that means, this water is going to be pressed down in a downward force so that you're able to ride over the waves rather than sometimes piercing waves. So it's going to direct the water down and away from the boat. And I have a picture, or not a picture, but a video of me going wide open on the boat. And it should show exactly how that feature works. If you have any questions about this boat, please leave them in the comments section below. And I'll also, if you're interested, I'll let you know where the boat's gonna be held on consignment. Or if you wanna pay me direct, that's an option. Thanks for watching.